Qatar comes down heavy on Israel as it launches one of the biggest raids at the Jenin refugee camp in years. A fan is in critical condition after a stabbing during the Mexico versus Qatar match. A top official says Qatar is looking to adopt AI technology in the national cancer screening program. And finally, could FIFA shake things up with this new offside rule? Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar issued a statement to condemn an Israeli raid in Jenin on Monday that killed at least 10 people, including two children. The city has seen repeated Israeli military raids in the past year under the alleged guise of fighting, quote, terrorism. However, this is the most intense military operation since the Second Intifada. In its statement, Qatar's foreign ministry said it condemns in the strongest terms the repetition of the Israeli occupation's aggression. Over in Mexico, police are on the hunt for suspects involved in a stabbing that occurred during a Qatar versus Mexico football match. Fans attending the Gold Cup game at the Levi Stadium said multiple fights broke out in the stands, but one turned bloody near the end of the match. The victim is believed to have received a critical stab wound and is now in hospital. Tensions ran high at the match after a dominant Mexican side lost 1-0 to a last-minute goal from Qatar. And now, a top official has outlined plans to introduce artificial intelligence technology into Qatar's national cancer screening program. Dr. Sheikha Abu Sheikha said artificial intelligence will be used to prioritize the images of breast and bowel cancer screening participants. This will help early detection doctors from the National Screen for Life program know which suspected images should be read first. Residents of Qatar can get checked and screened at their local primary healthcare centers. And in sports, FIFA is expected to trial a new version of the offside rule. The new guidelines will be tried and tested ahead of the upcoming season in the Netherlands, Italy, and Sweden. The new rule stipulates that an attacking player would have to be completely in front of the defender for the offside to be called. While this may make it easier to spot an offside, traditionalists aren't too happy about the change. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily